the study board is looking like. I need to finish that. I still need to print my words and my cozy corner. You guys saw that the other day. And then my student supplies. And I do have to do these two. That's what I stopped at yesterday because it was time to go home. And oh, I also put up my tips for classroom management and behavior and my welcome board. So I need to finish my bulletin boards and get stuff ready. Also, this is my car. I keep adding to it, but this pillow needs to go over here for the students to like read. I don't like how it's Christmas themed, so I'm gonna turn it the other way. But now look at that. I love it, I love it. And I feel like I keep bringing stuff in this cart back to me. So I need to empty this cart out and then get started. staple gum ran out of staples so I have to get some more of that. In the meantime I'm going to be working on this board and getting the rest of this stuff situated. I'm off this table because this will be like for my attendance wherever that goes. There's where my students have to sign in and sign out. How cute are these? I don't think I've showed you guys this but this is like a classroom for girls, pass to the office, um, a hall pass if they need to go somewhere besides like the office and the boys pass and they also have a nurse pass i'm not going to put the nurse pass and the library pass um up because you know you shouldn't really need to go there but i'm debating how i want to put this like this wall is not sticky at all so Because like my class is divided, I don't want to have students to go having to keep having to come back and forth. So I think I'm gonna move this. Yeah, yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Over here, somehow, some way. Like that a lot. So we're gonna start with that. Sorry about yesterday my phone overheated and it was just a lot going on and I just couldn't pick up the camera I did end up doing a lot of prepping so that was good and getting a lot of stuff ready for the first day of school and I want to show you guys the progress that I made so far my mailboxes are still not together but this is when you first walk in my social studies board and then for school supplies they're gonna have like supply bags dry erase markers anything they have I just want to do it in an organized fashion. My word wall is still not up, but I did end up making this sign, but I just don't know where to put it yet, my word wall. 
And then my cozy corner, which you guys have probably seen already, but I changed my bookshelves to go like this. I just think it looks better and students can find the books more easily. I have decided that I really do want my mailboxes right here to cover that up. And so I have this on each side of the room where each section will be sitting in. I use their materials and they're not going back and forth. And then here I have my turn-in trays. I feel like that's okay to be by the door because you're usually turning stuff in on your way out. You guys did see me prepare these materials for my students for the first day. So that's like student community supplies right here. Carpet area that still needs to be clean. I'm getting the vacuum because I still haven't done it yet. But this is like my morning meeting. We're gonna do our um, calendar here and then our class agreements right here. And then I did get these magnet borders, which are so cute. Look at this bulletin board. So I'll probably put like anchor charts or things that we've been learning right there. And then I have student work who we place right here. And then my chips classroom management system right here. Overall, this is how it looks. I really just need to get my mailbox up and then I'll be okay. And yeah, go from there. So the goal today is to get these on the floor, get my mailboxes up and labeled and not feel okay and prepared for the first day of school. We'll see if we get there. my lamination station I finished labeling all my students name tags right there it looks so good oh, I wish you guys could see but they have names on them so I can't and I'm gonna cut this out so the process of cutting begins now I just finished my calendar so that's all set up for the first day of school I also was able to cut out my name tags if you guys haven't seen their different colorful name tags um well these are like pink and other ones but these are blank ones just in case some kids that are not on my roster come in my class to be honest i've been dreading it but it has to get done now so here we go great smile just for you guys because you guys know the mailbox I was just building as I'm building it I get an announcement over the intercom that if anybody needs metal mailboxes to come and get them so you know what your girl did went to get the metal mailboxes guys I was struggling trying to put this together this would have been great to know a long time ago you guys know how I was indecisive about where to put them there or there well guess what i have both it's crazy i know i'm super excited to have these because they're definitely more durable since they're metal so what i am going to do is try to return all of this and send it back of their way because let me tell you it's a great shelf it's just i don't need it anymore so i don't want to keep hogging up stuff Correspond with my students name tag. They're like on the top or left corner of my students name tag So now I have to put um, Those on my mailboxes that I love and they're new and they're metal So they're gonna stay all year and not fall down like the plastic ones or even I don't even know what material it is, but sometimes it just don't work and that's why I bought that one, but Got have other plans for me. It's crazy how like you think you need something, but so much of my class has been like either donated to, so I'll thank you guys for that. Shout out to you guys if you donate to my classroom or just gift it to me or just use throughout the years and I can like wash it clean and reuse it for my class. So thank you so much if you donated to my class. Okay, so I finished my mailbox so I can check that off. I finished these circle things. So now I'm gonna do one last cleaning before school starts. Ah! 
I just want to basically clean everything, make sure it's sanitized, and then sweep. And I have this little um, vacuum thing that can clean the carpet. And then put these on the floor, test my technology, make sure it's good, and then I think I'm gonna head out. Alrighty guys, great news, my technology works. I do want you to turn off, yes, yes. Okay, um, I got some more resources. Guys, as soon as you try to walk out the door, it's like more stuff. So I'm passing these out and putting these in student cubbies. Alrighty guys, so I'm about to call it a day, but I made a lot of good progress in finishing touches for my students, where they're gonna line up. I still have to do their name plates, but I didn't want you guys to see their names. So last overview of my class. Wow, what a series. This classroom teacher stuff is no joke, <laughs> but I'm super excited. <laughs>